Hey there. In my previous video, I used a control rig to try and attach the left hand to a socket on a static mesh, in this case a sword, a weapon. Um, but I realized that once the frame rate is low, like below 30 FPS, the hand, the control rig, actually lags behind the actual socket on the weapon. And this is due to the way the group tick works in the Unreal Engine. The animation blu blueprint and the character mesh do not tick um, on the same group tick, so the animation blueprint works with data that is one frame behind and when you do quick aim offsets like this or you um, are having a low frame rate it causes problems. So here I have the control rig disabled this is just the original animation we can see how the, the hand is actually floating and is not actually attached to anything because that's the way the animation is I haven't touched anything so to recap on what we did on the last video we have a long sword uh, it has a mesh and it has a socket in this case I didn't even move the socket it's on the same position as the last video but it has a relative location to where I want the hand the hand bone to be and then the fingers will be ripping, ripping uh, the handle of the sword so I didn't touch any of this now what I did do is I have a blueprint interface we go into game, um, blueprints, interfaces, blueprint weapon. I have a blueprint interface that only has one function, get left hand socket, and it has two inputs. One is gender, which is an enum that I created that only has two values, male and female. Um, this is optional. And it has a skin mesh um, component, which is the character mesh and the output is a transform which is the target socket so what I do is I go into I have a blueprint for the weapon itself and this blueprint only has um, static mesh the static mesh here which is the same sort it was already everything is zero out the origin uh, but it has I went into class settings uh, implement their interfaces and I added the interface I created, the weapon interface and then I on my interfaces I just implemented the get left hand socket and we got this, the inputs are gender and character mesh the output is just a transform so what I did is I used a, se a select node to basically switch between two sockets the male and the female sockets, I haven't created the female one uh, will work with the male one and then I get the socket transform by this name right uh, on this static mesh which is the sword on the RTS world then I split this and I get the location and I get this transformed bone space um, and then I get the hand R the right hand I basically transform this world location of the socket into, I mean, I make it relative to the right hand. I only care about the position, not the rotation. And then I just return the position as the target socket location. So in my character blueprint, I have an event where I press the two key on my keyboard and basically I get the socket transform of this mesh, um, the weapon R socket, which is in my skeleton so if I go to characters, meshes, male skeleton we have a weapon R socket that is a child of the Han R uh, bone, the, the, the right hand bone so I get this socket I get the transform of this socket and I spawn the same blueprint lawn sword uh, and then I attach it to the weapon R. The parent is this character, the target is this actor that I just spawn. I attach it to the same socket. 
So on my animation blueprint, right, I have on my event graph, um, on the update animation, I get the character, and I basically call this, um, I call the blueprint interface function on the weapon, in this case, the weapon, that's why I saved on the character, I saved the weapon. I'm attached to the, the weapon that is attached to the player. I save it on a variable because I call it here on my character. I call the weapon and I call this function get left hand socket that receives gender. Uh, in this case, I just put in male and a character mesh, which is the actual mesh of my character, in this case, the mannequin. And it returns a socket and I just save this socket as the target. So everything is pretty much the same as before. But now, instead of using the control rig uh, with the target and all of this this is actually the way to solve it um, after everything on your animation blueprint right before the end right we call this node which is the fabric node and in here I change the um, alpha to be um, a bool value from flow to bool value and I just use this she'll use left hand at K which is in case I want to disable the this IK thing um, basically I use this boolean for example in reloading a weapon or something uh, on fabric right I set it up like this the effector transform is the left hand target and for the effector target I use the right hand and bone space and also uh, it doesn't matter if it's no change or maintain local rotation it really doesn't affect anything um, can be no change on my solver I use the left hand is the tip of the bone and the root bone is the clavicle or it could work with the upper arm as well the left hand the left arm and the precision I lower it because if it's too high there's a little bit of uh, problem like a twitching problem so after doing this that's all I had to do this here still blending on using should use left hand IK so that's basically it so if I play now and I equip my weapon we can see how the hand is actually perfectly following the socket because they are updating on the same tick basically on the same frame so for the test is, if I set my max FPS to something really low, like 10, we can see it's actually following it. And if I do slow motion, super slow motion, and I eject from my character, we can see how now the hand is perfectly following the socket. So I really need to congratulate the person who came up with this because it wasn't me. Um, it just took me a lot of time to actually found uh, someone who actually explains the proper way of setting this up, right? Um, his name is Sax, Sagat WordPress. This is the link I'll be putting in the description where he explains the right way to do the left hand weapon IK <laughs> and he says everyone else on the internet is wrong but he's right I mean his real name is Geoff Keen um, I'll be putting his Twitter and everything on on my description but I just really want to thank this guy because he actually shared the proper way of doing this so we have absolutely no lag when using sockets on um, to basically make a hand be attached. So this works with this sword. This actually could work with um, the rifles and guns and everything. So this is the proper way of setting up the left hand IK. And it doesn't even use IK bones or virtual bones at all. It just uses sockets. And this is really useful because we can uh, have different sockets depending on the character mesh. So in case in case we're using a different character, 
that has a different bone ratio and the, the hand ends up in a different position because it's probably his arm is smaller we could just uh, uh, change the socket and it will actually fit perfectly as well so yeah thanks for listening and see you next time